Uh, well, so the new garage is almost done. So, uh, I want to start bringing a few projects home to start working on. We'll start on them right later. We got this fine Z can full of hot rods. Oh, it smells like gas in here bad. Whoa. Wow. It's probably fine. Anyway, so typically I store, like I've got a Cobra here, I typically have it at the end of the Novas right here. Well, the Nova we want to take home, and last time we had the Nova, the battery died, and I had it so close to the edge, I was too fat getting it out. I don't know that that problem has been solved. So now I've been eating more, and I have more layers on. Also, the Cobra, I don't really fit in with boots and layers, so... But anyways, we got a tow truck guy coming, because the, we're going to tow the... The Nova Hold. Now we'll go see you. Look at these ramps I built. Looks like I need them for snowing. Nature's ramp. <laughs> so we'll drive this thing out. And then the tomfoolery of the Nova. I think we might just put a strap on the, uh, put this really far over. Put a strap on the truck and drag it out maybe. Might be the way to go. And then we'll deal with it out here. We're just trying to get it started and all that. We'll see. I think I should try it right out with boots. Uh, they run the clutch about the brake. I feel like they're gonna want the brake. Too bad it's like impossible. It is icy here. Well, that took nothing for you to. It's probably real good just to bag on it after sitting for months. <laughs> yeah. Check the oil. What right. oil? That oil pressure. Uh, it's windy out, but I'm going to try and start it inside the can. You have a tripod, but he didn't bring the thingy. It's important to have all your tools, people.
No, and your phone just dropped. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Chaos! Yeah! the next day it's just it's the next night so we got the car home we're obviously next door in the new garage so we got the car together got it kind of running if the battery's dead or, or bad or who knows it needs a little bit of love but uh tow truck guy dropped it off but while that happened the garage finished being wired and then i screwed around getting a bunch of new tools and stuff like that so we got sidetracked so i thought we'd do a little garage update as to where we're at it's basically done and we'll talk about what I want to do this hot rod. So the only thing we're really missing is uh, lights. We're currently just running off a couple of these, uh, you know, generic halogen jobs. Um, so we have the lights, wires are just plugs. So I have a bunch you guys recommended. I got some different ones from Amazon and stuff like that. So these are just on a switch. So they're basically switched plugs. So uh, we put three across the back, two across the front and they're staggered so you like a row of lights this way a row of lights this way and back and forth so it could be five rows of lights <clears throat> i got led i don't know fluorescent warm something around there so we'll try those out they weren't that much money i think it was three or four hundred dollars they all go to hell we'll get rid of them first and we'll link to some quad thing for detailing but uh, that seems expensive so just to talk about a few things, people were complaining, well not complaining, but mentioned the wire. So this main wire that runs to the house, uh, I think there obviously there's difference between maybe US and Canada. So this is armor cable. So it's not in a conduit, but it's got that armor kind of coating uh, like this would have the beat here and then it's wrapped for outdoors. So that's what it's meant for. So that's what's running the house and it's dug underground. 
Uh, minimum of two feet, we went deeper actually on the way to the house because the, the grade is different and it's got a bunch of sand over top of it. So people were kind of scared about that. So that's all done proper. Past inspections, all that sort of stuff. The lighting was the other one. Oh, compressor. So obviously I got a compressor. Uh, I got this unit, actually it's today. Man, that Bobcat is handy. It lifted it right out, no problem. So this thing's about 600 pounds. Uh, anyway, I would love to have the compressor outside. We're not in the garage. It is loud, this thing wails. It, it makes so much air so fast. So it's a uh, 80 gallon, six horse, two stage. It's a good unit. It was on sale today. Um, I'd love to have it outside. My concern is the temperatures we get when it gets to like 40 below. I, it's just too cold to be outside. So the hell of you like is put outside, put heat lamp, do all those things. Maybe we'll get there down the road, but in the meantime, uh, I just spent a bunch of money and I would rather be inside and not die. Uh, people are saying join the garages together. I hear you. A little tricky to do with permits and all that. I want to do everything on the up and up. So if, I, if that's an option, I can get down the road maybe. For now, we ain't doing it. And what else was there? I think that was kind of the, the big ones. I want to go over the lighting. Appreciate all the feedback. Oh, people are saying what well, two heaters is too excessive. It is, absolutely. I've been working in a cold garage for 10 years and uh, I went over kill, no bones about it. Natural gas, some other people asking. Electrical, where we are, electric and gas are almost the same price and you can run your own electric and stuff like that, then just get it certified or inspected. Natural gas has to be done from a pipe fit, by a pipe fitter, right from the house, the whole deal. Digging a trench in the winter, wasn't worth it. So yeah, there we are. Otherwise, everything else is all taken care of. We've got quad boxes everywhere. Each wall is on its own 20 amp breaker. Lots of power there. Each welding plug has its own breaker. Uh, each the furnace has its, or each heater has its own breaker. This is a stone breaker. Everything is all separate. Uh, just the one light switch by the door. I was gonna do a bunch, but I decided against that. And we still have, sorry, we still have the, the, the original wiring that came with the house, which is, it has a, an outdoor light. And then it's got these. So it's one there, one there. And then it's got a set of fluorescents, which I didn't even get working. So we'll have lights from both entrances, even though they'll be different. But that's fine, and then the original little panel did run the garage door opener. It's warm in here, it's very nice. And it's it's equally warm across the board. Uh, so we've got a compressor, we've got just a little toolbox. Uh, I do want to put some casters or something on this workbench that brings up a little bit for height-wise, so that's all down the road. I'm stoked to be in here. Unfortunately, I'm still going to be in the garage for a little bit. Now, so we brought the Nova home. Um, for no real reason other than it was very nice yesterday. Uh, we're supposed to get a pile of snow in the next couple days and then it's supposed to get cold. So we brought this thing home. Uh, my buddy Mike's going to bring home that wagon, hopefully, uh, sooner or rather later in the next week or so. Maybe we'll see, we'll see how the weather goes and, and his job and all those things, right? But uh, so here's my vision for this. So I built this car probably five or six or so years ago. And I built it to be 100% legal for the road here, which, it, which I'm not changing any of that stuff. But, you know, they had a lot of rules back then that were, I don't know, that you could kind of get away with, but then if you ever get pulled over, they hammer you. So they had a tire rule, 60-40 uh, rules called, so the front tires had to be 60% as wide as the rear. So obviously you couldn't put a big set of meats in the back because then you'd have giant steamrollers on the front and it would interfere with everything. Um, they had hood scoop rules, so this was the biggest hood scoop you could run, two and a half inch, two inch, whatever it was. They've eliminated all those things. They did a bunch of stuff, even hot rods. They had a windshield you have to have and all that. Now you just have to have, I believe it's six inches of windshield. So whether you chop it or you go up, you just have to have six inches. Um, I don't know, there's a few little things like that. So the car's cool, I love it, but we're gonna make some changes. And here is my vision. So it currently is a, I mean, it's a, it's a healthy little small block, 350. Uh, this is what Danny's probably gonna get in her car, I'm thinking. But it's a 350 Muncie four speed and it's got a 12 volt posi rear end. 
It's got like 3.0 gears, so it's geared like a dog. It cruises on the highway, it drives real nice, but it ain't fast. And uh, the motor's fine, but whatever. And it's an M20 trans, so it does have wide ratios. So, not perfect, but it is what it is. Here's my vision of it. I want like a 70s street freak, and that's what we're gonna build. So, think, combination. here's the combination. So, the paint, and the kind of roof, and what I got it was bare metal. I kind of want like a Monte Carlo from the from the Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift kind of vibe. So I love that. I love the way that thing looks. So I want to do a combination of that and like Crusher Camaro, old Crusher Camaro with the blower motor. I wish I had a blower motor. I can't afford it, but I do have that big block. And it's currently sitting in between the rails of that '56 wagon. So it's a '454 uh, polished tunnel ram, dual quads with a bird catcher. So we're going to lose the hood, put that motor in here, stick it as high out as we possibly can, keep it at 4 speed, change the rear end gear, probably something like a 410, 48, go pretty aggressive. I then want to lift the rear end to the moon with a set of shackles. Um, there's a Camaro out there, it's called uh, Plain Brown Wrapper, no, Nova out there, Plain Brown Wrapper. And it's cool, but I believe it has the uh, wheel arches moved up a little bit. But I love the way that thing looks. So I think we're going to toss shackles, lift it way up, put a giant set of like 31 inch tall tires. I think that's what they are. Uh, 315, 60, 15s. So it'll be just giant. We'll figure out what we got to do for wheel spacing and stuff like that. But it'll just be like a cartoon. That's what I want, like a rat, rat bait kind of style cartoon. Um, exhaust on it's got a set of Flowmasters. I love the way this car sounds. The interiors, man, I did like. This thing was nice when I did it. You gotta look past the paint because I did it on purpose. But I put like brand new door panels in, new carpet kit. I found a proper set of seats, sill plates. All the back was all taken care of. I mean, it's. Let's be honest. There's it something smells. Like that. What's that? It smells. Sorry about that. Uh, look, I put like brand new window rubber or uh, door rubbers and stuff in it. Like, I did it all. I am missing the trim around the back window. Yeah, there's trim on the side, so I think back when it's what it really needs. I don't have a package tray. I do actually do have a package tray. This thing has a roll cage in it. This is an old race car. So, whatever. So I didn't want to chop it all up. I think it's in the basement still. And I do have a headliner for it, actually. Not that it's that bad, but it's just starting to come apart. <clears throat> so this is like, I don't know. I, I, uh, I built it to drive it, and I loved it, but I want to make it more ridiculous. So that's the plan we're going to do. So, I think, I guess we'll see how it goes with the wagon coming home. If we want to start looking at maybe getting some shackles, bringing it up, see if we can test the tire might stop by a speed shop, see if those guys will be borrow a tire. These are, I think they're 28105s. Like a, some sort of a Mickey Thompson front and back, they match. And we'll put something big in the back along those lines to make it look cool. It does have a bit of a tall front tire. I just think the wheel will rump side to side. It needs a little bit of paint work on this one side. The, the one bender you know, broke through and then I guess just kind of sat on it. It's kind of what happened. I just touch the paint and figure that out. It's ratty, but it's kind of the, the kind of ratty I like. And honestly, I did this car nice. Nice. It's, uh, it could literally be scuffed and shot any color we want. It was a nice, well, it was copper originally. And uh, I didn't like that color. It was like it was half uh, sandblasted, so I don't want this yellow. I love the I love this butternut yellow. I gotta say, I love the yellow guy, but I love the way this looks. It was hilarious. We painted it MERS. I had a white high build primer and all this sort of stuff, and then we painted it MERS. Oh yeah, that looks good. Then I started just scuffing all the edges to make it look all wore out. Then I pulled out the uh, the clear coat and I got a bunch of flattening agent, dumped it in there, and did the whole thing. He already hated that I wasn't doing the roof, and I think he wasn't a big fan of the whole paint job, but. Sorry, bro. I won. For a, so I want to run no hood. I don't know exactly what the rules are on no hoods right now, but I did buy a few years ago a fiberglass hood that has a ridiculous, I think like pro stock hood scoop on it. And it's fiberglass, so worst case, I can just saws all that out, and it'll have it'll be a flat black hood with just a giant kind of bird catcher sticking out, weighing nothing. It was all on the Zeus plate. That's my vision.
Let me know what you guys think. Hopefully you're a big fan of the 70s stuff. That's my favorite. And if there's any other kind of cool things I should do to it, it already has yellow slapper bars on it to make it kind of more 70s-esque. It has the wrong wheels on it. What are you going to do? Uh, it is what it is. So yeah, big block tunnel ram bird catcher, four speed, already has a scatter shield, and 12 volt rear, jacked up to the moon, and loud. It'll be cool. I'm excited. Anyways, there you go. Update the Nova, update the garage. We're going to start wrenching a bunch of other stuff. I will be getting back on the Nomad. So the plan is Nomad actually probably come over here now. This giant compressor, I can do body work. I thought I liked body work, but that was one of the number one things I hate. So I was running out of air. Yeah. All sorts of hot air in here now. All right. I'll, uh, that's it. We'll see you in the next video.